This video is going to show you how to solve an example problem using lenses, specifically a converging lens. So a little bit of Sherlock Holmes going on here, trying to figure out what's happening. For a converging lens with a focal length of 30 centimeters, describe an image if the object is placed 90 centimeters in front of the lens. Describe its location, if it's real or virtual, if it is upright or inverted, and its magnification. First, there are a lot of ways of interpreting the results and getting some of the numbers, so I'm just going to go through and, and keep it straightforward and show you one of the ways. To begin with, I've got a focal length and I've got an object distance, and I'm looking for an image distance, so I'm going to use the lens equation. That's 1 over the focus equals 1 over the object's distance plus 1 over the image distance. Now also, converging lenses have a positive focal length, and that's an important clue, and it says I have a converging lens, because that means my focus, when I put it into the formula, is going to be a positive number. If it was a diverging lens, for example, it would be a negative number instead, so that's an important clue. Also, with this equation, the units that go in the equation don't matter. The only thing that's true is they've got to match. So I can put yards, meters, furlongs, inches, or centimeters, but it's got to make a match. And whatever units I put in, I get the same units out. So 1 over 30, that's the focal length, equals 1 over 90 centimeters, that's the distance to the, to the object, plus 1 over the image distance. Do a little bit of math, find the lowest common denominator, subtract the 1 over 90 from both sides, do a little more math and reduce it, and then don't forget the last little piece, we've got to flip both sides of the equation. Don't get rid of that 1 over s prime to the very end. So s prime is equal to 45 centimeters. That means the distance between the lens and the image is a positive 45 centimeters. That positive is important. So when light goes through the lens in my diagram, it's going to start on the left side and it's going to go through the lens and end up on the right hand side. And a positive s prime means the image is also going to be on the right hand side. So that's the distance to where the image is going to be. Because the image is going to be on the right hand side where the light belongs because it passes from left to right through the lens, that's going to be a real image. Whenever the image appears where the light belongs, that's always a real image. So there's one way to figure it out there. Also, because the fact that S prime is positive, that's going to tell me it's a real image as well. Magnification. So magnification is negative image distance divided by object distance. So that's going to be magnification is negative 45 over 90, which is equal to a negative 1 half. So this tells me two things. Number one, it tells me my new image is going to be half the height of my old image. It also, because it's negative, it's going to tell me that it's upside down, or it's inverted, in other words, from the original image. So here it is, inverted from the original image. 